2005 Sprinter, 2.7 diesel. We are going to change transmission fluid. First, I would remove this cap. Whoop, watch out for seal. We need that seal. Let's unscrew the drain bolt and drain the fluid. Ooh, beautiful. Nice and caliente. Now we're going to pull pan down. On one of the video I have when I drill the hole, tiny little hole here, that strip noise goes away, but I don't like it uh, because the transmission becomes, I think, a little bit weaker in a way. Also guys, watch out, here is a resistor. Some of the people have a code and they took care of the conductor plate valve body all that but all what it was a little resistor right here had um, uh, what it's called a little split it came so there was no uh, connection and dealer charged them you know how much but all what it was problem with this tiny resistor so we got pen nice and clean also don't forget to clean this magnet and do not forget to place it back Okay, so we got the pen secured and now time to put oil. I'm using exactly this Castrol transmission import multi vehicle. Right here it says for Honda, Toyota and Sprinter. Well, yeah, I've been using this over six years and it's treating me good. It's like a little over five dollar a quart compared to from dealer like over twenty dollars. A liter I've been using to test both oils and it does not make any difference about 30 something dollars worth with oil and about I don't know 17 dollars filter so under 50 dollars we can change the transmission oil when you start your uh, sprinter I would put in the reverse Wait a couple seconds, neutral, couple seconds, drive, kind of go through the gears. I'll drive a little bit and then check my oil level. So I drove about 12 minutes. I'm going to check the transmission fluid level. So with length of my dipstick, we are going all the way like that. Only this piece sticking out. So let me give you dimension of my dipstick. Nothing special, pretty average size. A little over 45 inches long well yeah that two and a half inches roughly from the bottom to top I like to fill up the top part right here I'm inside my cargo section because as you can hear a little rain action going on okay so total was um, four quarts and this much more so that's roughly about 400 grams of uh, transmission fluid. Of course, this is water here. Ignore that. 400 grams will be approximately 14 ounces. That is 1.75 cups of water. Almost 2 cups of water. Or 0.43 quarts. So a little less than a half of the quart. So to fill it up, transmission, if you drain, and uh, change the filter it will take you a little less than four and a half quarts all right my friends please like subscribe and let's go fishing sometimes <laughs>